welcome back for episode two, all about the signal. In the last episode, of course, we had some problems keeping enough power to power the signal going back to the planet. And this, of course, decreased the amount of science we were able to get. So in this episode, we're actually going to add a little bit more fuel to our liquid fuel engine, allowing us to gain more power while in the air. And we're going to change up how the ship is designed in that it will launch the solid fuel rockets first and then we will use our liquid fuel engine of course allowing us to use the power that comes with the craft off the start and then using liquid fuel to refill that power inside our capsule so let's go ahead and get ready to launch here of course make sure that we get everything in order and So as we go up in space, we're going to report that science at each level. And we're not having a problem there. And of course, as you see, our liquid fuel engine's been started a little while ago, and this allows us to recoup the power. Now, we're low right now, of course, because we've sent quite a bit of information, but if we throttle our engine up, we'll be able to recoup a little more power quickly that will allow us to send more information back to Kerbin. And it's kind of a rinse and repeat thing here. As you go up, you report your science. And we only have one type here. And it's the crew observations. And as you can see yet again, it, it, it really takes away a lot of electricity sending that information back. So what we're going to be keeping our eyes out in the tree for research is, of course, some way to recharge our ship in space. And most common one you're going to find, of course, other than the engine itself, that allow you to not use the engine is your solar panel. So as soon as we get access to that, that will definitely help us out. Let's go ahead and do a full recharge almost. And we'll send more information and we'll watch it drop down really quick there and empty again. So science missions are really all about the charge and that charge is what's a key to sending your information back. Without it you won't be able to report any science at all. And this is just a standard straight up and pretty much straight down mission. We're not doing anything fancy here. That will be in our next episode where we're going to try and circularize Kerbin and go a little bit farther on our fuel. Right now we're just trying to get a little bit of science so we can start doing our research, help out with our building of our craft. Of course you can do an EVA report and we're going to go ahead and get that. And of course we can't transmit it unless we're inside the capsule so let's go back in retrieve that data and go ahead and transmit it back. Now we still got a little bit of fuel so let's recharge that battery again. Of course it's going to send the information it's already queued up first which drains quite a bit of power there. And we are out of fuel again. So as you can see with just using a liquid fuel engine, you're not going to be able to get tons of electricity from it. And we're only about 120,000 meters up is our height there. So coming back in, let's go ahead and deploy our parachute. And yet again, we have no landing struts or engine power. So we're going to hit the ground a little bit hard and we'll see how that goes. But we should be able to survive this, so here we go. And not too bad. Um, lost quite a bit on that, but still not bad at all. Oh, all right, well, we're still alive. That's what matters. Well, 
now that we're on the ground, we can try again to send information, but as you can see, same deal. And plus the antenna is on the part of the craft that was destroyed. So let's go to our tech tree and go ahead and look at our first level research we have enough for, and we will go ahead and do that. That unlocked a couple parts for us that we've seen, which a uh, bigger fuel tank, smaller fuel tank, another research item, and a decoupler at the end there. So we have a couple choices here. We have a liquid fuel engine that has the upgraded controls. A couple different things. This is more of a flight nose comb, wing lid, and a decoupler, which would be nice to stage our craft. Small engine for when we're in space. A landing strap, which would help with our moon mission that we're going to go on in a couple episodes here. So let's see what we can do. Well. We only have eight science, and these are requiring quite a bit more. 18, 20, and 15 there. Well, I guess that's it, but hold on. We made a mistake here. I uh, found out that if you go back and you recover your spacecrafts, as you can see here, you'll see that you can actually get a lot of science from recovering your craft. So it's, it's very important to get these crafts back to Kerbin and splash them down or put them on land because you're going to recover them and get science from them. So the first mission was 13. Oh wow. You get 31 from the second mission we just did. Not a very complex mission, just very simple, but the craft itself holds quite a bit of information that is recovered as you can see. And now we have zero flights in progress. So always remember to recover your craft. And now that we have our science, we have 31 science total. So let's look here. What would we want? We could use it for survivability, which of course is just a couple little things for maybe landing on another planet or changing the way the capsule is laid up for parachutes. We have our nose cone, which of course right now isn't doing much other than visual. The decoupler, which we do want, and that winglet. And here's our engine, a small booster and a large booster. Let's go ahead and do the controls so we can get that decoupler so we can stage our craft. Now you can see here that takes 45 science for, for that level. For the strut, another type of decoupler, and a three-way splitter for our craft. And we got our winglets, uh, MK1 cockpit, a remote cockpit for uh, remote control, and a reaction wheel which will be nice to control the craft of course. So, until uh, next time, we'll have to wait, because we need more science. 20 for that one, and we only have 13, so, until next time, 